Morning YouTubers, uh, welcome back to Allotment Diggers. I'm just uh, doing myself, pulling myself a drink, a well deserved drink may I add. I've been picking some of the leaves up off the back of the plot into a little bucket. There's the bucket I've been putting them in. How sad's this? Well, uh, there's one bucket of many. Must have done about 100 of them buckets full of that, um, them leaves there. These are what we've been collecting from the back of the plot. The, the trees are actually um, shedding the leaves now and uh, we've been collecting them but um, rain stopped play and um, basically it's been hail stoning, snowing this morning but um, at the moment the rain's um, beating everything back and um, it's still clear so it's not too bad but there's a lot of water on the allotments again um, everywhere's flooded and um, what we're doing we're working in between the, the um, snow and rain showers and the hail stone showers as well come to think of it but yeah, there's one of many buckets of what we've been collecting. Yeah, so I've been putting them in that bucket and I've been taking them down to the back and putting them into a big bag. Might as well go down to the back and I'll show you um, the bags that we're sticking well, them in. Well, the bags what we've been putting the leaves in. Uh, you probably see the path down the back of the path here. We've not cleared this yet. We will be doing that in a bit, clearing all the leaves off it. Um, but at the moment it's raining, so we're going to get the camera to safety and I'll show you... Um, when it's all clear, we'll try and get as many leaves up as we can. We don't have to get every one, but you know, just get a few of them um, and put them into the bag here, get them all in this bag. We'll probably have another couple more bags uh, before the end of it all. Um, we've got chicken manure and all sorts of stuff in these other bags at the side. And this is all rotted down and be going on the plot very soon. Well, Obviously, we needed to clear all the back along uh, the back of the the path at the back of the allotment. So, uh, well, this is what it looks like now. It don't look nothing like it did. As you can before. see, we cleared all along the back here, and all the leaves are in that that big green um, bag there. And we just leave them in there and rot them down. There's a lot more leaves to fall yet. We'll probably fill three or four of them bags by the end of the um, by the end of the winter. Like the, the tree a bit above it this thing up here it's got absolutely tons of leaves left on it so we've got to wait now until all them leaves fall and we'll collect them all and they're gonna go straight into there so yeah all the leaves again the rot leaves are just gonna keep falling but it's best to pick them up while they can and uh, it's the only exercise I do get on the allotment really I don't really do much just sit here and um, twiggle my thumbs but yeah, we've picked up a load of um, leaves and it's good therapy really. I enjoy picking the, the weeds out and what have you. Some people hate the weeding. I actually we love it. And no, before you ask, don't dare invite me down to your allotments to do the weeding. <laughs> I like doing my own because I know what my weeds are. And they're not really bad ones. Yeah, it's when you get that mare's tail, that's where you've got your problems. But hey-ho. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. So I've, I've just thought I'd uh, have a deserve a, a nice drink. Anyway, just been into the the chicken coop, and um, well, just picked up some eggs. Now these are my eggs. I don't know. If you see the size of these things? These are all like probably double yolkers. They're that big. They're starting to get deformed. <laughs> <laughs> Poor chickens, eh? But nice eggs, really nice. The Nova Browns. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the sort of quality egg we're getting. Got six chickens. Um, by the way, uh, we we had two in the in, in the the thingy from yesterday. So I'm only getting four eggs at the moment. Two of them are molting. But yeah, they're the sort of eggs what we're getting. And uh, like I say, half a dozen eggs there, and there's a few more up in the back here as well. So, um, yeah, we've did, did not done too bad with the eggs. A uh, bit disappointed as well. Um, I've been, I bought this uh, porcelain white um, garlic from um, B&Q, a couple of packs. I put them all in, and not a single one's come up. Not a single one. However, the, the porcelain white, actually the, the, the solent white, sorry, um, that needs to go out. That's about 18 inches. I spin, spin the camera around, guys. Spin the camera around. I mean, look at that, that garlic there. 
absolutely fantastic and that is ready to go outside now I will be putting that out um, we did put some other garlic in here about four days ago um, this is this is some um, porcelain white actually no yeah this is porcelain white we actually got some more of this and um, I'm just looking here uh, and every single one except for that one there hasn't come up and uh, we've done we did 60 of them and um, I thought well we had another load of uh, garlic as well we do lots of garlic and um, well I've done it the way I would normally do my garlic uh, in the bags um, first what I do is uh, I take all the cloves put them in the bags and as soon as you get little root I thought you can't really see the roots on them I'll see if I can take them out of the bag and show you one you probably just see the little roots there now them I'll push them into them stations there and I'm looking at every one of them and they've all germinated so I do know these are all viable and uh, we're going to be putting them in however we did some again in a video uh, a small clip we did and we put some more in so we've got uh, we got 60 what are about an inch high we've got 90 which are about 15 to maybe eight, 17 could be even 18 inches I what need to go out and we did some yesterday what have not come up yet so what's today's date so this is just a reference to uh, it's Friday the 18th today so these ones on the front here we've we put in yesterday evening so you know it's, it's, it's not even 24 hours yet we'll keep an eye on them see how long they take to come up now this is the the ones that I, I do in the bags basically um, that way I know I'm gonna get like 100% germination rate fingers crossed but um, yeah the, these need to go out we're going to be putting them outside what we did do we have to, we, we took some celeriac out now I'm going to show you a couple of clips here you're going to see me do something really naughty so when you see it don't you repeat it okay it is a bit dangerous and you'll see what I mean when you see it but what we're going to do we're going to um, lift the I think there's about three celeriac there I'm going to lift them out clean them up and trim them and present them to you so I'm gonna, you're going to see that right now I'm just going to lift the celeriac up now with this three of them left so I'll take the fork down and uh, basically shake all the roots off it all this soil I should say uh, we'll give that a good clean up in a second and uh, show you what it looks like however there is two more to be had so I might as well lift them both as well see if I can point the camera in the general direction what I'm working on there we go lift them up give them a shake out Oh, not bad at all. Okay, I left me, uh, left me knife in the car. But uh, what I'm going to do now is just trim this celeriac up. I've got to use this bloody thing here. <laughs> so I'm just going to trim everything back. That is the celeriac. That root there, where well, you just cut the uh, cut the roots off. Be careful about doing it. I'd say this. I should have brought my bloody knife over, but uh, yeah, we're just uh, winging it at the moment with this um, very sharp blade. But uh, yeah, we're just taking all the, the roots right back off it.
sweat you're all going, oh my god, he's gonna cut his fingers off here. Wait for the blood, they're saying. I should be okay from watching what I'm doing. All right, that's... Well, there you go, guys. That is one Solaria. So, we're gonna continue. Chop the tops off, give them a good trimming. And uh, yeah, these are great for making stews and broths. And uh, that is exactly what they're gonna go into. Uh, gonna make some pea and ham soup with these. Uh, I think old uh, gardener guy um, did some of these in Scotland, in the, not Scotland, in um, is it Norway he, he lives. And the, the ground was completely solid. Uh, he was lucky to even dig them out actually. I don't have that, that problem here. Like I said, just trimming the roots off him. Uh, when we get home, we give them the final cut. And uh, they'll go straight into the broths. There's number two. Very last one. What I'm messing about. All this will go straight onto the compost. Uh, I wouldn't give it the chickens, I don't think they'd actually like it. Right, so last one, get it chopped, all the roots off them. Right guys, I'm just going to put this lot into the compost bin and then I'll present them a little bit better. Uh, when we've done it, okay, so I'll be right back. Well, that's the celeriac um, all been cleaned up now, and there's three of them there. That was the last three. Uh, do you know what they remind me of? You know them that armpit, the the toilet bugs. They look <laughs> like something like that, but uh, yeah, I can tell you they taste quite take the very taste there. They're great in broths and what have you. Um, we will be using them. Um, it's just like celery, really no different same sort of taste you got to be careful or you get them to go too big and they go really woody but uh yeah they're just just perfect them so i'm quite quite pleased with them okay celeriac uh done and dusted for this year okay so you saw me with the the blade that thin long blade i left my knife in me um in me bag in the car and uh, I, I won't prepare to to travel up to the the car I'm at short of breath as it is and walking there and back I've been absolutely huffing and puffing like a soup dragon out the clangers <laughs> but uh, I don't know if you ever watched the clangers I'm showing my age now I think they only made about six six programs but they kept on playing them every single day same bloody program and I never figured it out I was only young though anyway um, I say I used a, a blade. Um, obviously, you can see on my fingers, no cuts. Still got on my fingers. But very, very dangerous. So don't let me see you doing that in your videos. <laughs> Use a knife, and preferably wear a pair of gloves as well. I just uh, winged it a bit there. But um, yeah, I was, I was looking at that celeriac, and I thought that reminds me of something. And then it hit me. I don't know if you ever seen the um, the 
the advert where for the Arpic where they displaying the Arpic underneath the the toilet seat and you see these bugs going, Oh no, he's gonna get me. Well yeah. It looked like one of them. I can obviously I'm gonna tell you now they do taste a lot nicer than what you probably imagine the germs underneath the toilet seat would taste like. But hey ho. We actually made um, made a broth uh, um, uh, and I'm and well, it's called pea soup, but it ain't just peas. It ain't just um, four cans, big cans of peas. It's a lot more complicated than that. We use ham shanks, a couple of ham shanks, and we throw them into the um, into the pressure cooker. It takes about an hour and twenty minutes or so, hour and a half for them to, to be, you know, for it to to cook properly. In the meantime, you, you prepare the rest of it. So. I do a, a vegetarian and I do like um, like us carnivores, me in particular, I do another bigger pan um, with all meat in, the other one's just um, vegetables. Now when I say pea and ham, it contains several different ingredients, in fact it has more ingredients than you, you, you would realise. Um, but basic ingredients in the pan um, we use, well we use I use potatoes and the best potatoes really for them I think the uh, Maris Piper and we use some of the Maris Piper what we made that bit of a boo-boo in that um, bloody video we use some of them potatoes and I can say that was absolutely spot on and we use obviously I'm gonna come to the, the ingredients now so we use potatoes we use carrots uh, about five six carrots big carrots then we use a, a swede, you can use a turnip, but I use I had only had a swede, so I used the swede, that went in. A um, couple of big onions, that went into the, the mix. Um, then we put celeriac and celery into the mix, that went in. On top of that we use pearl, pearl barley and we use lentils. Lentils will thicken the, the broth up. We use savoy cabbage as well, chop savoy cabbage up into pieces like, you know, pieces like that that went into the mix on top of that the the potatoes but you don't put the potatoes in so about ooh, 20 minutes before you're gonna serve it really uh, 25 minutes at tops so you get all this lot prepared so basically you, you you're doing you you do you put your your hams in and about 35 minutes in that's when you start doing all you starting doing you putting all your other ingredients in and last 25 minutes you throw your spuds in it's just to stop the spuds from going to lob and I tell you um, it took me about an hour and a half hour and, tw hour and 40 minutes to make it took five minutes for all a lot to disappear in fact I've got a couple of pans on bubbling away there I don't know if I've got a video of it bubbling but I have I'm gonna put it right here now so you can see some of it yeah guys this is me peeing on the fruit bubbling away here that's there this is all the the carrots, potatoes, onions, um, there's celery, there's turnip, swede in it, there's pearl barley, lentils, um, and uh, three tins of peas in there. Inside this here, that's uh, where the ham is. So we've got everything simmering at the moment and uh, well I'm sure everybody will be down when you get to smell it you seem to sense it like bloody onion pigeons but yeah this is um this is my uh, famous pea and ham soup that everybody loves and we've like I say got several several pans on the go there's a pressure cooker just kicked in <laughs> all systems go can't wait to get the chops in okay it. guys this is me uh, my soup all the goodies in there carrot there's um, celery less, uh, cabbage there's turnips peas lentils um, potatoes Ham, big juicy lumps of ham, and uh, this is almost ready for eating. This, 
So, yeah, there's me peeing on. Nice big uh, bowl of it. Stewing away nicely. Yum yum. Can't wait to get me chops on this, I tell you. Obviously, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do a video of me making that. But everybody from miles around comes and they just take the lot. It's gone. It don't last two minutes in my, in my in my house. That I had a little bowl, tiny little bowl. That's all I had with a bit of ham in. The rest of it gone. A uh, bit like me apple pie. I have to make three big apple pies to get a slice about that big. You know, it's a small a small slice. Again, that's another thing that I might show you me making with some of my apples which have actually grown in the, which I've actually got in the in the apple. Well, it's more like apple apple store at the moment. Uh, the shed on the the allotments here at the front. So I might do um, I might do an apple pie. But I'll, when I do that P and M soup again, I'll I'll show you how simple it is to make. It's absolutely fantastic stuff, and it don't last too like I say five minutes. Five minutes in from putting it out, it were gone. Apple pie don't last even that. Last two minutes. They're actually making the custard out while I'm actually I'm actually rolling the bloody um, pastry out. They're actually making custard, licking the chops, waiting to get into it. But hey ho! So yeah, that's that's what we've been doing. Um, well, with the the salaria. Uh, like I say, we're in the greenhouse at the moment because it's been raining outside. Funny enough, um, who was it? Who was Tony from? UK here we grow it's actually got a competition going on there for a really really good greenhouse I think the greenhouse is worth a couple of grand and um, he did have another competition where someone won one of these greenhouses it's this company that he's um, who, who, like um, is it you know he's working with and um, he's getting like they give you know they give him stuff to to give basically me and yourself um, a chance to win and um, yeah I think I think it's about the third or fourth video back from the one he's uh, from the last one um, the, the competitions there it's dead simple to to basically answer it um, I think you just got to uh, name how many greenhouses this particular company makes and put your, your, your postcode Put your address, your email on, and uh, you got a chance of winning. Oh, we didn't see that then. But hey ho. But yeah, give him a go over there and uh, check him out. Now the reason why I, I say I mentioned Tony because on his last video he was doing a leaf mulch where he was uh, rotting it all, uh, showing people how to to make it break down a lot quicker. Obviously. I've got some there in the bags there and I'm just going to go the, the long way around which is going to probably take 14 months for it to break down but the way Tony does it, it takes about 6 months so if you want to learn the quickest way to um, rot your um, your leaf mulch down why not pop onto uh, his channel there and uh, check his videos out and obviously if you ain't subscribed to him you want to because uh, he's got a cracking channel there he's a firefighter and uh, he gets that straight away from me and um, like I say he's, he's doing a lot of lot of good stuff there, uh, getting the community involved into into some of the things uh, into his allotments and um, what have you. So uh, yeah, he's definitely uh, worth um, popping over and checking him out. Like right, so uh, I say I'm gonna go and take the uh, the tops off these um, oh savoy cabbage you now because it was snowing a bit earlier and what last thing I need is the snow to settle on the nets it just damage them so rather than that happen I'm going to roll the nets back now um, we ain't going to get no um, butterflies this time of year so I think they should be okay uh, we'll t I'll show you them again we're going to tidy them all up and um, take all the weeds out and what have you but this morning it's been about doing a bit of um, taking all the leaves off the plot I'll be doing that for the next two, two three weeks so that's it really, I hope you enjoyed uh, the, the talk and I'll show you that couple of little clips there. So I'll see you all in the next one guys, but uh, go and check Tony out if you want to know how to um, um, compost your, your leaves. I was going to do a video but I thought I'd leave it to Tony. Alright, thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next one, bye for now.